Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're gonna to be going over the electrical conduction system of the heart. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna look at the sinoatrial node, SA node for short. This is located in the right atrium near the entrance of the superior vena cava. The SA node is known as the pacemaker of the heart, not only because it initiates the heartbeat, but also because it regulates the heart rate. Now, the heart rate, I'm referring to the beats per minute. The SA node causes the heart to contract at 60 to 100 beats per minute. Next, we have the atrial ventricular node. This is also known as the AV node for short. This is also in the right atrium, but it's on the bottom portion of the right atrium near the AV valve. The AV node generally causes ventricular contraction, and it's also known as the gatekeeper of the heart. So this AV node is able to also initiate the heartbeat. It generates a rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute, which is significantly slower than the SA node, but nevertheless, it's still able to generate impulses or heart rates. So if in case there is a damage to the SA node, if there's some kind of ischemia around the SA node or a blockage or for whatever reason the SA node is not able to function properly, then the AV node will do the work. It will compensate. So it's only able to generate a rate of 40 to 60, which is below the average heart rate. So there will be, need to be intervention because this is too low for the heart to keep up normally for a long period of time. Next, we have these fibers that come across the atria. They start at the sinoatrial node and they go all the way to the left atrium. So basically, these spread the electrical impulses across the atria and cause the atria to contract. Also, the Bachmann's bundle is also called the interatrial bundle. Also coming off of the sinoatrial node are your internodal tracts. So technically there are three. If you want to be a nerd, you can learn them. The job of these internodal tracts is to spread the impulse from your SA node to your AV node. Once the impulse reaches the AV node, it is delayed here before it moves on to the bundle of his. Delayed impulse is important because it allows the ventricles to fully fill with as much blood as they can before they pump it out and send it off to the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. In other words, send it off to the lungs and to the body. Also, specifically, what this delay in the AV node does is it increases the preload, which is the amount of blood remaining in the ventricles at the end of diastole. And remember, diastole is the relaxing phase of the heartbeat. So an increase in preload is eventually going to lead to a greater cardiac output. And cardiac output is referring to the, the volume of blood ejected by the heart each minute. So an increased cardiac output is just going to be more efficient in filling the needs of the body and the amount of blood that it gets. So it's just going to send out more blood to the body. So for example, if there was a problem with the delay in the AV node and the ventricles don't get to fully fill up with blood, then they're going to be squeezing out into the body and into the lungs. They're going to be squeezing out a very small amount of blood. And this is eventually going to interfere with all of your organ functions and everything in your body because it's not going to have enough uh, an efficient amount of blood. So moving on here, after the impulse goes to the AV node, it's going to be sent to the bundle of His. So the bundle of His is located in the interventricular septum and it branches off to the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch. So right bundle branch is going on towards your right side of your heart and left bundle branch is going towards your left side of your heart. And lastly, we have our Purkinje fibers. These come off of our right and left bundle branches on both sides of the ventricles. These are capable of generating impulses of less than 40 beats per minute. Now, this only happens if the SA node fails and the AV node fails, then the Purkinje fibers are able to generate their impulses. Now, it's not very much, and obviously the person who has... Um, 
you know, a heart rate of less than 40 needs serious intervention, but still we're very thankful for the Perkinji fibers because they can really save the day even with their small impulses.